Hey YouTube, it's Pump. Today I'm going to go over the four craziest mount skips in WoW and how to do them. I'll throw the time saves on screen now, and let's jump right into them by starting with the biggest time save, Old War. So starting out, you want to get on the bike. Uh, this is on Heroic 25, man. Uh, you just speed boost with, I think it's button 3, and you just zip right through. I'm going to speed way through this. Uh, you just kill the first boss, and then you go all the way to the end of this corridor at the third boss. Uh, you don't have to do the left or right bosses. And then we get to the actual chamber of Olduar. And you skip right to the bridge boss. And this is where our skip begins. So I'm going to play it on normal speed first. So here's what it looks like in full motion. It happens pretty fast. And it looks kind of easy. But trust me, it's not. So I'll break down the movement. And then you fly right into that pillar. So I slow this down a bit just to show. Uh, so you're going to start out with a double jump. Then you're going to glide after the double jump. Fell rush, you turn to Vengeful Retreat. Glide again, and then one last fell rush. And then you fly into this pillar. And it is a really tight angle to get into this pillar. Um, and then after that, you're just chilling all the way until you kill Yogg. Uh, I skip forward, and this ends up being a 5 minute 25 Yogg. And it's totally possible to get under five minutes. Uh, I lollygagged at my Yogg kill. So, yeah. Uh, this is pretty crazy and saves literally 13 minutes if you just have a Demon Hunter that can do World of War. <laughs> Here's the time it took to do a run on my Mage. It was 18 minutes something. I think it's possible to get near 16 minutes, but still you're looking at at least 10 minutes of time saves. So I'm going to actually live record this one. So for this skip... You just want to make sure you do not kill the bird right as you pull her. The only two mounts that come from Firelands are from Ali of Shazor and Ragnaros. So you can actually skip every single boss if you do this method, and it's a really, really insane skip. So we do not hit her on pull. Do no damage to her. Make sure you don't have any damaging abilities active. And then we want to go and pick up these feathers. Just got to pick up three feathers start flying and then you use any ranged ability to kill her and you do not loot her you fly around this because there's collision on this wall you have 20 seconds to fly over across the gate over here it's pretty generous uh, this can be done on any class it doesn't have to be demon hunter it's pretty tight when you get over here to the edge but you'll make it three Two, one, demount right here. So, Alarus Resort's loot will go to your mailbox, and if you get the mount, it will come up to your mail. I've gotten both of these mounts from Firelands, and I got Alarus Resort from my mail. And, uh, what's his name? Major Domo won't even be here when you walk up, so you skip even more time, but Ragdros is here. There you have it. That is a sub five minute Firelands mount run. And then after this, you can just fall straight into the lava, die, and then you get put back to the beginning of the raid. And you can do this on heroic and normal. They both drop mounts. So I actually forgot to hit record at the start of this run, but I still want to explain how to do it. So at the start, when you get into the actual Frozen Throne, you want a full clear Putricide's wing. And then when we get up to the Blood Council wing, you kill all the Blood Council wing. So you go up here, we kill Lanethel. And then this opens up right here. So she is dead. I've already killed her. Uh, I've already done a full run. It's just I forgot to hit record at the start. And then you fall down right about here. I believe this is also doable on Evoker because they can also do this. So I didn't have to Fell Rush at all there just to get through. But I do Fell Rush to make this a little quicker. And then you can fall straight down to, uh, is it Cindergrosa, I believe is the name. And here we are. There we are at Cindergrosa. So you skip all of the spider wing back here that's really annoying, and you skip having to kill the trash in the uh, dragon healing wing. So as you can see, I skip forward, and this is a 15-minute run for... 
ICC, and on a normal character it takes around 18 to 19 minutes, so this saves you about 3 minutes on a Demon Hunter or an Evoker. Now I'm going to skip forward to my Mage's gameplay. Uh, there is no timer, but I'll let you guys watch this play out. Okay, so my, my computer just crashed, and I got back after my timer died. I actually got invincible at the end of this mage run. <laughs> I don't have to come back here. Oh my god. Oh my god. This was only like 37 attempts. So now we're in two King's Rest. Uh, you need to go to your close right corner as soon as you walk into King's Rest. And then here you shove yourself into this wall, just fell rush, jump on this little collision. And then you're able to backflip through this wall, except you don't fail like I did. You do it like this. And then now you start the awkward trek of climbing this mountain. So your movement here is really precise. And this is extremely difficult considering you can only save like a minute in current content. But you do save around a minute. So I aim for this green terrain right here. And as you can see, my the game literally thinks I died right there. <laughs> um, you're really awkwardly climbing this as best you can. But once you're up on this lip above it, you're pretty much home free. So I'll fast forward through this, but you pretty much just hug the right side of this mountain all the way. And then it hits a plat, uh, excuse me, a flat plain area where you can just kind of easily climb up to the very tippy top of this mountain. So once you're up to the tippy top of this mountain, uh, as you can see, I made mistakes during that. Um, this is my first time actually doing this one, but you can save about like a minute 30 if you're extremely precise. So once you're at the tippy top, you jump down towards the third boss room area and just use your movement as best as you can. Uh, it's pretty generous. You don't have to perfectly use everything, but once you hit the last boss room area, it teleports you to the room just before last boss. And then once you clip to third boss, you just kill the bosses, and then you're able to go directly to last boss across this little bridge, and you kill the last boss, and then that's it. So you skip a lot of the introductory stuff. Um, it It is a pretty minor time save, all said, but I still wanted to include it just because it is such a crazy skip to just, like, you go out of the whole entire dungeon and scale a mountain. <laughs> it's just pretty ridiculous, but... Yeah, so it ends up being a 7 minute, like, 18 run, I think is what that says. But uh, my mage did it in 6.45, but I, I could have easily saved like a minute and a half if I'm just good at movement with this. So yeah. As an added bonus, I wanted to include Underot and Freehold. If you just have a character that can invis or like shadow meld and get rid of threat somehow, it is a very good skip to just walk to the end of the boss and then invis just before you kill the boss, and then just kill the boss and get the chance of your mount. Uh, I literally did under in two minutes. That'll do it for this video. If you guys know of any other raid skips, feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to hear about it. This was just all that I could find for crazy raid skips. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, and I'll see you guys in the next video.